Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Science Hat podcast. I'm Melissa Benson. Um, it's my pleasure to be joined by Executive Chair Dr. Alan Taylor from Clarity Pharmaceuticals. We're going to talk all things Clarity today. Alan, welcome. Thanks, Mel. Incredibly excited to be here. So I thought we'd start off talking about the capital raising. Um, very recently, it seemed to be a big success, particularly given the recent biotech market. Um, first, if you could just share your thoughts on on the raise and I guess the support. Well, yeah, it's uh, it's been an incredibly exciting time, right? So, 120 million dollar raise uh, and just done in the last you know little while. That was done rather quickly um, and certainly. But we've had a build up of demand, as you would know, uh, build up demand in um, in Clarity itself. People trying to get a position. So the capital raise went really well, really well. But you take a little step back. The biotech market has been a little difficult over the last few years. We had an incredibly successful IPO, raised $92 million, which led to you know over $100 million in the bank. Then this dynamic was, was bizarre, right? People selling stock at you know, very low prices. We're back up there now. This capital raise done at $255. Really nice pricing. Um, and, uh, and now we have $150 million in the bank to do what we want to do. And so what does that 150 mil for you, you know, what does that do for clarity? Where does that set you up? What's the 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 runway, I guess? Certainly, it does a couple of things for us, right? It lets us do business as we do it, right? Continuing on to develop our products. But also gives us a war chest in what has been incredibly dynamic market, you know. Big pharma is jumping in with, you know, substantial transactions yeah, recently seen. and the yep. like. Um, and so it puts us in a nice strong position. We had this funny dynamic with school holidays in April, so we had to go in March and those sorts of things. Um, and uh, and to get it all done very quickly and efficiently was a great outcome. We feel really good. Got great products, lots of money in the bank in a very strong position to really play this out over the next couple of years. So what feedback have you gotten from the investor base? Yeah, it's been interesting, right? Uh, we love our shareholders, right? And all of the shareholders are important. Uh, but this this play, as you know, the demand's been really strong for a period of time. People wanting to write checks of 20 to $50 million into the company. And you can't do that easily on market. No, right? it's challenging. So, uh, so it's been very positive from the instos coming on board and those sorts of things and those that were already on board, um, obviously getting and building out their positions further. Uh, I've had a little bit of feedback from some retail uh, shareholders, uh, obviously the the structure, uh, the Anrio structure, and the 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 one for thirty three isn't a lot for people who own small amount of shares. So yes. We apologise for that, right? But um, but really the play is where we position the company. Uh, retail investors, if they're looking for small amounts of capital, can buy a market any day of the week, right? And particularly for the amount they want, and have had the opportunity for a very long time to buy sub two fifty five, which yeah. was the the capital raising. So the structure and the delivery of it and implementation was specifically for us to enhance where we were and get that done in a quickly and a quick and efficient manner. Um, and now we find ourselves well placed. Retail shareholders are very well placed. Uh, the company's well uh, capitalized. They continue to buy a market if they wish, and we've got that institutional following. We're now, you know, some people that didn't have a foothold in mm -hmm. now have a foothold, and uh, and we can continue to grow. Has there been turn there been turnover since the capital raising? You always see that, but we had it post the IPO as well, and people yeah, were selling it. Yeah, it's a pretty at, normal dynamic, right? At, yeah, you know, at prices that we thought were crazy at the time. I can't control that, right? All I can control is make sure we're well funded. Make sure we do that, you know, the to the best of our ability, and I feel we've done that. And now to grow our assets and obviously drive the value for the in, for our entire company uh, and benefit all shareholders as well as a lot who are our team, right? Which are incredibly important to our story, um, and we have a lot of crossover uh, of that. And uh, and now we're really looking you know, forward to the next couple of years. 